Hey, it's Glenn, and my hair is really shiny in this video for some reason. Anyway, I uh, was going to do a Q&A about the rainbow colored sheep, but I didn't get any cues to A, so, which isn't surprising. This YouTube thing is brand new. Most of the people who follow me on Facebook or who read me on Amazon or anything else haven't discovered me on YouTube yet, which is fine with me because I need the time to actually make it good. So what I thought I'd do is just talk about the rainbow colored sheep and then I realized I have no idea what to actually say, but I at least dress more colorfully for this video. I mean if it were up to me I could just, I could talk about this very short story for a solid 10 hours and just break it down like word by word, line by line and everyone would go to sleep. So I thought I'd just talk about where the story came from in the first place. The rainbow colored sheep, as it turns out, began its life as an angry letter. There was, I wrote the story 1997 or 98, it was published in 99 on my website. It was actually the first thing I ever put up on my website and it's one of the, I think it's the first or second most widely read thing I've ever had published. Anyway, I received a letter in the mail one day from a faction within the United Methodist Church that called themselves Good News. And their good news is basically that they don't like gay rights or women's rights. Pretty much that they're uber conservative. And the point of this letter was to ask for money to help them to stop the gays from tearing the church apart basically by demanding to be accepted as equal human beings. I was so very angered by this letter that I went inside immediately to reply to the letter and not to send them money to fight the gays but to tell them exactly what I thought of their organization and their request and I sat down to write and it didn't take the form of a letter like to whom it may concern it just I sat down and I wrote the rainbow colored sheep and then I kind of I mean this was my writing process I just kind of finished writing it and I looked at the screen and I just asked the universe where did that come from? Because it wasn't something I planned out in my head I just sat down and I wrote and that was my response and then I realized it was absolutely pointless to mail this to these people they'd wad it up, they'd throw it away they wouldn't read it, they wouldn't take it seriously, at least I don't think they would have. And that's when it occurred to me that I should post this on the internet, that I should just let everyone else read it. Offer a counterpoint for anyone and everyone to see to the bile spewed by these right-wing conservative Christians who don't understand the message of the Gospels, which, I mean, to me, it seems obvious that Jesus would not have shunned gay people and wanted them out of his sight. If you actually read the Gospels, you see Jesus constantly embracing the social outcasts and the alleged sinners of society. You don't see him saying, these people are divisive, we need to combat their existence and keep them quiet and keep them shut up. And so, that was my point, I think. That was the whole point of the rainbow colored sheep, was to sort of to illustrate the pain of gay Christians who want to stay in the church and who also want to be accepted as they are. That's the whole point of the sheep in the story refusing to cover his fleece in white powder. He doesn't want to hide who he is. He just is who he is and the shepherd is only feeding 
the white sheep. And for me, it was a metaphor obviously representing gay Christians trying to reconcile their faith community with who they were. And it also, you know, once I wrote the story and put it out there, I got so much feedback from people who took it, who would tell me, I'm, that story is about me. And it wasn't because there were gay people in the church, it's because of something else. They were being outcast from whatever society they were a part of simply because of who they were. And I've always loved that about this story, that it can mean different things to different people based on who you are and where you are in life. And even the way that I've related to it over the years since it's been published has evolved. It's a very short story, it's a very powerful story, and it launched my writing career. I could probably say a thousand more things about this story, but I'm just kind of rambling about it and I don't have a guide. I'm going to work harder. Um, tomorrow I have another short story going up for free and I'm going to work harder over the next five days to try to get people to give me questions to answer so that I have something specific to talk about, some sort of outline for the video. Otherwise I will in fact just get back up on here and ramble some more and it'll be fine. But you know, I'm around so if you read the story, The Rainbow Colored Sheep, after this video goes up and you find you have questions you'd like me to answer, go ahead and send them. I'm bound to do a general Q&A down the road and, you know, I'd love to answer questions about this story. I love talking about my work. I'm a complete and utter narcissist. So, for now, that's all I've got to say about The Rainbow Colored Sheep. So have fun and I'll talk to y'all later.